So I thought I would just do a quick review of some of my favorite running shorts. These are the Solomon S-Lab XO short. There might be some other words. Solomon tends to have like 20 words in the name of each of their products. But if you search for Solomon S-Lab XO, E-X-O short, they should come up. Um, they come in a couple of versions as far as I know. There's these which are just like compression shorts and then there is a version I think called the twin skin which is like this short as far as I know I haven't actually laid hands on them but I think it's this short and then it comes with a loose outer short um, it is true the I mean these are pretty uh, you know uh, I, I don't really like to wear them by themselves out running because they definitely stand out in a uh, running race now if you're talking like a, a biathlon triathlon then everybody else is wearing um, you know lycra too so it's not a big deal but um, I, what I did is uh, I have a cheap pair of running shorts just regular shorts and I cut the liner out of them and then sometimes I'll put wear those over these um, shorts or I wear these a lot in the cool weather under a pair of tights and they work perfect for that but um these uh yeah so these are the salmon shorts there the salmon products are really expensive but they're generally really well engineered too and um i'll show you the because of these the way the shorts are made with an inner liner they basically eliminate all the chafing and that's awesome um that's my number one favorite thing about these shorts but uh, yeah, otherwise they're just almost like a pair of bike shorts. They come down pretty low towards your knee. Um, the and then the I'll show better on the the other pair of shorts I have. But they fit you know well, just like a pair of bike shorts basically. And um, the only trouble I have sometimes because I don't have like a flat flat belly is sometimes the waistband seems to roll roll down. So that's the only. Thing I've noticed but um yeah so let me show you <clears throat> so this is a pair of them inside out and this is like the my most favorite feature of the whole thing is uh here actually let me stop the video and I'll switch it to landscape sorry I'm always forgetting about filming in landscape but yeah basically you can see so this is inside out and there's a liner uh inside the short so this is the front of the short and so it's stitched at the top and then and it's basically like a thin piece of lycra and um so it's stitched at the top and then otherwise it's loose it's not attached to the rest of the short and then it's attached again on the back so just on the very top of the back so you can see like right there and then otherwise it's just loose from the rest of the short and basically the the combination of those two layers they slide against each other instead of your skin you know sliding against the short and basically eliminates all chafing as far as i have seen so far um i don't know why other short companies aren't all doing this and even solomon you wouldn't even really know the short has this unless you were looking at them in person so they don't stress this feature at all but it's an amazing feature i it's it's so awesome for eliminating chafing i tried a lot of different like triathlon style you know um lycra shorts before this and uh, this is just a whole different ball game um now compared to other running shorts I mean, a lot of running shorts are pretty good because they have the inner liner and then they have the um, loose leg. So they do have those two layers, which is really good. Um, this one, I would say, the, with my chunky thighs, the, in, the inner leg of the shorts on running shorts tends to ride up after a while. And it kind of bunches up in my crotch, which is not super comfortable. And because of these, you know, the legs are long and they're tight to your skin. They never do that. So that's uh, the nice thing about these ones. 
Um, so you can see the, the it kind of has like this honeycomb um, compression short thing going on on the leg. And it's pretty comfortable. It's actually pretty tight to get on. You have to kind of, I sort of bunch the whole leg up and slide it on my leg and then stretch it down. Um, but uh, it really does give you that compression short kind of feeling. So I like that a lot. Um, you can see the waistband is fairly tall. It's probably about three inches. Um, there's no waistband or uh, which, uh, no drawstring, I should say. Um, but they seem to stay up pretty well. Then, like I said, if you got a little bit of a gut, the front will roll down a little bit. Um, but uh, I saw, the, so this is like the older version. This has yellow accents and the new ones seem to, I think they had red. The difference in the new one is, so this is the back pocket. Okay, so there's like three sections and you can stick, um, you know, gels or whatever in there. So there's no, they don't fasten at the top. It just kind of stays shut because of the tension of being around your waist. And uh, it does seem to work pretty well. Now the front one is, um, is one long pocket. Um, and uh, this one I, I never quite trust too much because it's it's uh, longer and it can stay open a little more. I, I've never had any problems with things falling out of it, but I've just never quite fully trustworthy of it. So I wouldn't put like my car keys or anything in there. But um, so there's that. And then they're, they're just blank on the sides. But on the new one, the difference is there's a pocket on each the left and right hip too. So basically the whole waistband is pocket. So that's kind of cool. And like I say, it does look like the waistband is a little thicker on the new one. So um, that could be good, I guess, as far as storing stuff. Um, but yeah, just an awesome short. Now these are uh, insanely expensive. They're 175 on Solomon's website. And I think the ones with the outer short, the twin skins are like 200 bucks, which is crazy for a pair of shorts. Um, it did look like on Amazon they're running more like 125 which is better, but still super duper expensive. I got these on closeout for about 60 bucks a few years ago, and they're still running strong. Um, but, I, you know, I guess it just depends if you have a lot of trouble with chafing, um, then it could be worth it. So, you know, if that's something you run into, you might want to at least check these out, try them on. Um, I wear a 36 inch waist pant and I wear the Solomon shorts in a size large and that seems to, you know, work fine for me. Like I say, they're run tight, but I think that's good. I think that's how they should fit as tight with that compression honeycomb thing they got going on. So, but yeah, definitely check them out um, if you have the opportunity. I think this logo down the leg is reflective too, so that's cool. And then they have a little reflective S-Lab uh, logo on the front, which is reflective as well. So, but yeah, definitely check them out. I think they're just not a well-known short and that feature of the floating liner inside is just super duper awesome. And uh, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, drop me a line or whatever. And otherwise, thanks for watching. Take care.